seven years later. So Pamela was uh, kind enough to allow us to yeah. uh, do some work in here and also to show show our work. All of his work is going to be around here. You can decide with what you want here, or if you want to move that wall, you can. They're all movable. Cool. How many pieces do you have in the show? It's going to be a total of about 13. Great. So we lay it out, but you want to think about flow for people. Like when they come into the show, where are they going to be hovering around? I like the <laughs> idea that it's actually in a working studio, right. rather than it being like in a stuffy gallery. Anybody at any day of the week can go right. into a gallery. How many times do people actually get to come in to see a working Beautiful. art studio and see the pieces, you know? So <laughs> get into the mind. Appreciate it big time. Yeah, exactly. The mind. You can drill an ear, you can write a story out if you have okay, smaller right. images. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. really lend itself to your story that you're telling. And I was showing you this one and this one, and these were the two that you sort of wanted to collaborate with me on. Right. So what are your thoughts? Well, I think we should really go for like something really natural. We can get spices and bright colors and yep. all those spices have all the organic sort of features to it and give the real pigment and color. Yeah, I was gonna let you just go nuts with the painting yeah. uh, on it and then maybe after the painting, I might highlight those with the ceramic. Yeah. You see where it's like the highlights in the blue and stuff? Maybe yeah, what we can do is get some moss and resin the moss right on. That'd be cool. Right? Yeah, that'd be, be very cool. cool. I did a trip in Morocco and I was just inspired. I went into a, a spice store and they had all these jars like this place. This store here is incredible. Yeah, it looks like I it has every single spice. Yeah, so we have different colors. We especially use these jars okay. so that they don't lose their organic color. Incredible. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. and it goes with sort of the whole theme of getting back to the earth, you know? Right. That's mm -hmm. great, thank you very much. Thank you. So Raph, yeah, yeah. I, I wrote this short story and it opens up with the end of the world. Whole long story, but anyway, there's this tribe that survives. And uh, this is sort of, I've, so I started off by creating the outfits of maybe what this tribe would, uh, yeah. would wear. And I wanted to use the Home Depot bucket because I think it kind of represents now yes. and a major yes. corporation. Well, the combination is just so beautiful and surreal. Those feathers are incredible. And just like you come up with different ideas, I mean, this is something I picked up, you know, on the side of the highway. Right. And just sort of, you know, put it together. It's like, this goes across uh, oh, how one cool of the photographs. Yeah, yeah. That is, <laughs> right. <laughs> That's so good. It's almost like maybe, maybe all these should go on one wall. What do yeah. you think about that? I'm thinking probably something like that. I don't know. And I just resin them last night. So I'm like, I've got to figure out what, sort of what the next stage is. That's a little bit of drama. And the reason that we're, we're here was that the gallery that we we're supposed to do the show in yeah. came by to see the work. And one of the pieces, she had a problem with it because it, it, she felt that it was too political. Right. And her quote was that she doesn't believe the politics and art should right. ever be in the same room, which right. I, I sort of blew my mind because, I mean, politics have been in art for since art's been created, yeah. and especially Check now with what's going on in the world with politics. Right. I, I don't know how right. you, you can ignore it. What really appealed to me when you guys came to me after being censored was I had that experience, and I never wanted that to happen, and I don't want that to happen. Right. And I believe this is your breakthrough. All that hard work that you've been doing is just like one more step to where you want to be, yeah. where you want to go. Do we know where we're ever going to go? Not really. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Great to be back and see Pamela's work. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, Thank amazing. you. To do your collaboration. Yeah. These two pieces mean a lot.